I'm Gus Lorenz, Extension Entomologist for the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. As you can see, I'm standing in front of a soybean field today. It's mid to late August, and as you can see behind me, uh, I can see the ground down the middles. Uh, so we haven't achieved canopy closure, and that's worst case scenario uh, for beans at this time of year uh, to be infested with corn earworm. You can see the size of the plant. You can see the stage of development that we're in. We're just beginning to bloom and set pods. And right now in this particular field, we're running right at five to six times threshold. In this case, uh, we're, we're uh, currently evaluating a lot of uh, insecticides and looking at what's working for us. And, and I can tell you, uh, we're seeing really good control this year with belt and steward. Uh, we're getting good control with uh, pyrethroids plus a half a pound of acephate. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the residual control in that situation is not very good. Uh, we're getting at least three weeks, it looks like, based on our data with belt, uh, about two weeks or so with steward. But uh, this is the time of year when getting that sweep net out and, and taking a look at these fields can really uh, save some yield for our growers. For more information on sampling soybeans and uh, developing worm problems in Arkansas, contact your local county agent.